ah, there's your problem right there. You don't have what you need. You need a turbocharged system in this engine, something that's quick and fast paced. That'll do you right up because that's the whole point. If you don't get this thing fixed up, you're going to be last one out of the chute and you're going to lose the race. And when it all comes down to it, that's the only thing that matters is winning the race. Not necessarily in life, but in this game, for instance, and that's Pit Crew. Pit Crew from Stronghold Games. Jeff Engelstein and Stronghold. <laughs> that's how you do that. What is this game about? It's a fast-paced racing game. Yeah, you get that. But it's not about the racing. You're not the one in the hot seat behind the wheel turning left a lot and a lot more. You're actually the guys in the pit crew, hence the name pit crew. You're the ones who get no glory as you cheer around your rider, racer, uh, as he comes in first or second or last. But if you're not first, you're last. You know this. Here's the thing. Your job, though, is to make sure that your team, your racing crew, gets their car out of pit alley, pit, pit lane, whatever it's called, as fast as they can so that you can win the race. And that's why I really like this game, Pit Crew. Sorry, I wasn't supposed to tell you I really like this game right now. This is the intro. But let's look at how this game is played. And we'll go from there. So here's the basic setup for uh, Pit Crew. Basically, everyone's gonna get a car with a different uh, <laughs> Stronghold game product placement on there, just like in NASCAR, obviously. Love it, but uh, you've got three phases of this game, three rounds of the game. You do it three different ways. Your car gets a little bit worse each time, a little bit more wear and tear each time. Starts with the 27 on top. You have to fix two things in the first round, and it's a race. It plays simultaneously, which I love. It's a three teamed game if you want to it plays up to nine people but it plays simultaneously you have to fix all four tires you have to put enough gas in the car round two and beyond you have to fix all four tires put enough gas in the car and also repair the engine make sure the engine is ready to go how do you do that what well, involves playing some cards but if your team is the first to do all that you'll pick up a dice and start rolling every time you roll a six you'll move your car one space ahead on the racetrack. Obviously, the way this game works is whoever is furthest in the race wins. This is just a lap tracker to make sure what lap you're on in case you've lapped someone else. How does it play? Well, it uses these little cards to put gas in, to repair the engine, and to fix the tires. How does it do that? Let's look right now and we will find out. All right, so here's what you do on your turn. We'll talk hand size in just a minute, but this is the 27 car, this is round one. The two things you have to do in round one are you have to fill the car with gas and you have to set up all four tires. The way you do that, let's start with gas because it's the easiest. You basically just have to play cards to the back here equal to the number of 27. So you just keep playing cards out there until you get 27. So we're at 19, uh, here's an eight, it's 27. Boom, there you go. Now notice that some of these cards are black, some of them are white. If you played all the same color, you would get a bonus in the bonus round. Now one of the ways to play is, when you, when, once you cap this off, you just throw that on there and let them know it's done. One of the strategies is you can either be the first out of the gate and start rolling those dice real fast, or you can kind of strategize and hopefully play just the right color cards to get those bonuses. And we'll talk bonuses when we talk hand sizes and all such as that. Tires are a little bit different. You just have to play in sequential order, up or down, four cards per tire. So an eight, you could play, you know, I got a seven. Oh, I got a six, cool. And then you just play them out. Oh, is it back to a seven? And uh, here's another eight. Or you could go, you know, eight, seven, six, five, four. Seven, six, five, four, yeah. You could do that, but once the tire's done, you cap it off. And once all four tires are done, you cap those off and you start racing. And that's where you pick up that dice. And once everyone is finished with that phase, that whole dice rolling stops. So your goal is to hopefully get those bonuses. All these are white, so you would get the bonus here. The next round, in round three, after that, round two and three, they both have this um, special thing for the engine that you have to do as well. You have to do the same thing here. The numbers go up, so this is a 29. The tires are a little bit different numbers. You have to set a pair of cards for the engine. Simple, but you just have to remember to do it. Uh, and it's kind of stressful to remember that, but you can get bonuses for all these. So let's talk hand size, bonuses, penalties, and monkey wrenches right now, as those are the rest of the, the whole concepts in this game. So a couple things, depending on the amount of people in your crew, um, again, remember I told you it plays nine people, there's only three teams, it determines the hand size. So in a one crew game, you have six cards in your hand, two is three, and three is two. Obviously, your team is gonna get six cards each turn. Different things you can do in your turn is obviously playing the cards of these places, or you can discard a card. And the reason discarding is important is because the penalties you get from every two cards in your discard uh, area gives you a penalty. The penalties are pretty crazy because they also, uh, I think it's, if there's two, I'm sorry, 
Let me make sure on discard. Yeah, for every two cards in your discard pile is a penalty point. Let's talk penalty points. One of the ways you get penalties is it's on the back of the book as well. It shows you kind of a, a breakdown of different ways to get penalties. Each one of the, your tires that's wrong is a penalty point. Each missing card is two penalty points. Um, the difference in the, the fuel is you get that much in penalty. Two points for each missing card from the pair. Uh, and then one penalty point for every two cards in your discard. And then here's the deal, the turbo boost, the way this works is if you do get that bonus, you get to move cards. Um, all cards in one area, same color, moves two spaces on the track. So you could get potentially two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. If you played it really kind of slow and steady, you could get 12 spaces forward from your bonus. Now, the thing about penalties though, every other car moves forward the amount of penalties that you got. So it's an interesting way, but if you get eight penalties in one race, crash, game is over for you. And that is how you play pit crew. You do this over and over, you do three rounds, and furthest person in the race wins. Fun game. One other thing, everyone gets a monkey wrench card at the end of each round. They do different things like bad nachos. One player of your choice from each opposing crew has that hand size reduced by one. So it's different things here. Bunch of different ones, you know, jet fuel, crew chief, training, uh, all kinds of good stuff, you know. Uh, teamwork, perfect chamber, perfect camber, sorry, I can't read. <laughs> uh, but they're all listed in the instructions what they do, and you get to kind of draft out to see uh, who gets which one each round. So interesting little bonuses to make each round more interesting. So that's Pit Crew. It's quick, it's fast, it's, it plays really quick. I think it said like 10 minutes on it. It's a fast game, and here's what I love about it. If you looked at this and said, well, it's just a card game where you play cards and you kind of abstract the idea of out of running a pit crew, that's the name of the game, uh, you might, might run away from this. You might think, well, it's just kind of playing cards, but it's that unanimous, not unanimous, it's that uh, simultaneous play that really makes pit crew exciting and it makes it fun and it makes it hectic. I mean, I, I just when you pick up that dice and you look at the other side and they haven't started rolling it, you start rolling it like crazy. It just feels hectic. It feels like you're in the race and you got out of the pit crew, uh, the pit zone just in time. It's really, really good. I really think you should pick up Pit Crew. You're going to enjoy it. Uh, Inglesey knows what he's, what he's doing. I mean, Stronghold, come on. Bonacord, the dude knows what he's doing when he's putting out good games. They've been knocking it out of the park. Plus, here's the other thing. Two to nine players. You don't just have to play a party game. You can play a game that works with teams and stuff like that on your game night. So, go get Pit Crew. You will enjoy it. That's a, that's a total recommendation from here. Brian Drake with the latest retro here on the Dice Tower. We will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.